beautiful day, kickback crew. It's your boy, Sheik. Oh, Sheik D. That's right, Sheik D. Freak. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for arriving with another episode of Celebrity Brew Ha Ha. Led Zeppelin were an English rock band formed in London in 1968. The group consisted of vocalist Robert Plant, guitarist Jimmy Page, bassist slash keyboardist John Paul Jones, and drummer John Bonham. With a heavy guitar-driven sound, they are cited as one of the procrastinators of hard rock and heavy metal. Although their style drew from a variety of influences, including blues and folk music, Led Zeppelin have been credited as the significantly impacting the nature of the music industry, particularly in the development of album-oriented rock and stadium rock. Originally named the New Yardbirds, Led Zeppelin signed a deal with Atlantic Records that gave them considerable artistic freedom. Initially unpopular with critics, they achieved significant commercial success with eight studio albums over 10 years. Their 1969 debut, Led Zeppelin, was a top 10 album in several countries and featured such tracks as Good Times, Bad Times, Days and Confused, and Communication Breakdown. Led Zeppelin II in 1969 was the first number one album and yielded Ramble On and A Whole Lot of Love. And if you guys are interested, I did do reactions to those two songs on my channel, so check it out on my channel. In 1970, they released Led Zeppelin III, which featured Immigrant Song which was also on the Thor soundtrack. I know about that one. Their untitled fourth album, commonly known as Led Zeppelin IV in 1971, is one of the best-selling albums in history with 37 million copies sold. The album includes Black Dog, Rock and Roll, and Stairway to Heaven, which is a great one of their, one of their most famous one right there. If you know by now. <laughs> you know that. With the latter... No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I'm singing a different song right now. But with the latter being among the most popular influential rocks or works in rock history, House of the Holy in 1973 yielded the ocean over the hills and far away and the rain song. Physical Graffiti in 1975, a double album featured the trampled under the foot and cashmere. Page wrote most of the Led Zeppelin's music, particularly early in their career, while Plant wrote most of the lyrics. Jones' keyboard based compositions later became central to their music, which featured increasing experimentation. The latter half of their career saw a series of record breaking tours that earned the group a reputation for excess and debauchery. Although they remained commercially and critically successful, their touring and output, which included Presence in 1976 and In Through the Outdoor in 1979, grew limited, and the group disbanded following Bonham's death in 1980. Since then, the surviving former members have sporadically collaborated and participated in one-off reunions. The most successful of these was the 2007 Ahmed Ertegun tribute concert in London with Bonham's son Jason Bonham on drums. Led Zeppelin are one of the best selling music artists of all time. Their total record sales are estimated to be between 200 to 300 million units worldwide. They achieved eight consecutive UK number one albums and six number one albums on the US Billboard 200, with five of their albums certified diamond in the US. Rolling Stone magazine described them as the heaviest band of all time, the biggest band of the 70s, and the unquestionably one of the most enduring bands in rock history. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. The museum's biography of the band states that they were as influential during the 1970s as the Beatles were during the 1960s. In 1966, London-based session guitarist Jim Page joined the blues-influenced rock band and the Yardbirds to replace bassist Paul Samuel Smith. Page soon switched from bass to lead guitar, creating a dual lead guitar lineup with Jeff Beck. Following Beck's departure in October 1966, the Yardbirds, tired from constant touring and recording, began to wind down. Page wanted to form a supergroup with Beck and him on guitars, and the Who's Keith's Moon and John S. Whistle on drums and bass, respectively. <laughs> Vocalist Steve Winwood, Steve Marriott were also considered for the project. The group never formed, although Paige, Beck, and Moon did record a song together in 1966. Beck's Bolero in a session that also included bassist guitarist, oh, well, bassist keyboardist John Paul Jones. 
The Yardbirds played their final gig in July 1968 at the Lytton College of Technology in Bedfordshire. They still were committed to several concerts in Scandinavia, so drummer Jim McCarthy and vocalist Keith Ruff authorized Page and bassist Chris Dredge to use the Yardbirds' name to fulfill the band's obligations. Page and Dredger began putting a new lineup together. Page's first choice for the lead single was Terry Reed, but Reed declined the offer and suggested Robert Plant, a singer for the band of Joy and the Hobbs the Whittle. Plant eventually accepted the position, recommending former band of the Joy drummer John Bonham. John Paul Jones re- inquired about the vacant position of bass guitarist at the suggestion of his wife after Dredger dropped out of the project to become a photographer. Page had known Jones since they were both session musicians and agreed to let him join as the final member. A 1937 photograph of the burning LZ-129 Hindenburg taken by news photographer Sam Shear is used on the cover of the band's debut album and simply on a later merchandise. If y'all don't not familiar with the Hindenburg, uh, pretty much it's the big um, the big blimp from back in the day in the black and most black and whites. There's in a lot of movies that got oh uh, that exploded in August in 1968. The four played together for the first time in a room below a record store on Gerard Street in London. Page suggested that they attempt Train Kept a Rolling, originally a pump a jump blues song popularized in a rockabilly version by John Burnett which had been covered by the Yardbirds. As soon as I heard John Bonham play, John's recalled, I knew this was going to be great. We locked together as t- a team immediately. Before leaving for Scandinavia, the group took part in a rec- recording session for the PJ Pro B album, Three Week Hero. The album tracked Jim's Blues with a plant on harmonica was the first video track to feature all four future members of Led Zeppelin. Now, if y'all want to see uh, my Led Zeppelin reject- reactions, they're all on this channel. Uh, I'll, I'll send some links to them. I'll put some uh, some links here, here, and here for you guys. Thank you for coming to my channel. Like, share, subscribe, uh, share too as well. If you have any suggestions that you want me to react to, any videos you want me to react to, uh, put them in the description below or leave a comment below. It's your boy, Shikti. Thank you for coming to my channel. I'm out.